welcome to my channel where I grow my own organic fruit, vegetables and cut flowers. I'm now um, going to talk you through what my plans are for the plot. So now I've got my plot under control, I've managed to weed it. It was quite overgrown when I first took it on and it's now looking quite good. I'm really pleased with it. I'm now ready to start tackling my next project. And my next project is going to be the area next to my plot, the wildlife area. I'm not intending to grow all of my produce on that area, but I would like it so that it's a lot more usable and so that it attracts a lot more of the beneficial wildlife for my produce. So I'd like to attract things like hedgehogs, toads, frogs, my ladybugs, which the nettles are really good for, and things like that, that are gonna help me, and also um, hoverflies. And the thing that I've decided to do, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the area that I'm talking about. It's just on the edge of my plot. So my plot ends, well actually my plot ends here. This bit's, the wildlife area is just encroached on it. The previous plot holder, um, her son came down and he was going to build it was an underground greenhouse i think it was so he built he dug a massive hole down here where my pond is and then there was all this rubble that came up and this is all over here so there's loads and loads of rubble and also other plot holders throughout the years have always sort of used this area as a dumping ground so i've got sort of bin lids and things like that in there there is quite a lot of rubbish i have been trying to clear it out and there's loads of plastics and things like that but hopefully if I get it sorted out and I get it looking more attractive people will stop dumping things and then it will be a nice usable area so what I've got here I've got nettles and I do want to keep nettles I think these are really good for attracting beneficial insects that are predators and that help keep down your green fly black fly things like that so I'm going to keep those but I maybe don't need an area because it's this section here the whole of the back along there and then as you go further down the plot there's loads of pockets of nettles and so I might have a look at it and decide where exactly I'd like those areas but nettles are a good sign if you've got nettles in your garden or growing area it means that you've got a fertile soil so it means that that area over there is very fertile if you have a look here this is where all the rubble is that clearly isn't fertile because there are none and so I do need to sort of go through that and try and deal with the things that are in there and then I've got some other plants that have got nice flowers on and if you have a look at that area down there I'll show you closer so if you have a look here there are quite a few plants in here that are really nice for the wildlife the bees love this and then if you have a look through here can you see in there on that tree I have got a little bug hotel and I was going to move it but the bees actually if you come down here when it's sunny you can see the solitary bees do actually use it so I'm going to leave it there I'll see how it gets on for the rest of the year and then if they fill up and they put the caps on them in the winter I'll leave it if not then I will move it but it looks quite nice there and then what I will do here as you can see there's quite a few brambles growing along this area I will try and get the, gra the brambles down dig them out and then I'll mulch this area so I need to get some wood chips and things like that to go along here so I can create some sort of nice paths and do more of a permaculture type area along this section and I'm hoping that I can make things like hedgehog houses places for toads and insects and things that you want on your plot that you want to attract so that you can get rid of slugs snails and other things that are going to eat your crops if you have a look a little bit further down there are lots of nice little plants that were left by the previous plot holder that are sort of dotted around my plot I've got this one and then further along you can't really see it but in in amongst all this grassy area there I have actually got a perennial geranium so I will try and dig those up and then I will use those I'll either put them around my pond up the top or I'll put them in this area 
once I manage to get it more under control. Oh, here is some comfrey. Now this, I think, is a perfect area for my comfrey. So once this area is more manageable and under control, I will dig up my comfrey that's sort of all dotted around my plot so that I can then just have it in the wildlife area because the bees do really, really love it. And it is great for making your plant feed and for putting in your compost bin but it grows so big and it self seeds. And so I want it in an area where it's not gonna be in my beds and taking over where I'm growing my crops. I don't know if you can see here, but this bramble section here is absolutely massive. So I do really need to get going on that. That's really nice. And so I'm gonna keep some of these pockets of plants and then I'm hoping to sort of have paths that go in amongst it. I would like a nice little seating area underneath. Can you see this massive tree? I love this tree, although it does cast shade on my plot. So, you know, there's benefits and cons to everything. It is nice being able to have somewhere to sit though that's in the shade. And so I'm hoping that down here I can have a little seating area. I've got some tree stumps at the bottom of my plot and I'd like to put some cardboard down some wood chip on top and then the stumps and then that would be a nice sort of area that we can go and then maybe i might put another pond down the bottom hope you like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe it's something that i've never really done before attracting beneficial wildlife on such a big scale with such a big area of land and so if you've got any um, tips or tricks please put it down in the comments below because i'd be really interested to find out what what's good and any helpful suggestions would be really really helpful what i'll be doing is i'll be posting more videos with updates on my progress so you can see how i get on and i also post pictures on my instagram account which is angela's kitchen garden and if you have a look down in the description below i'll put a link to that down there so you can also follow me on instagram so take care stay safe and i will see you on the next one see you later bye